Today, I want to take you guys on a special adventure as soon as I wake up. I said, as soon as I wake up. I said, as soon as I wake up! Wake up with me. Let us get started. First, I wake up. Then, I go pee. Ah, sweet release. After that, I wash my hands and my face using this Neutrogena Clear Pore Daily Scrub. Sometimes while I'm washing my face, I like to make faces in the mirror, like Alyssa Edwards. Then I wash the excess off with the towel. It's super effective. After I'm finished with that, I'm going to shave my face with Skin to Mit Skin Therapy with lotionized vitamin E. It's good for your skin and stuff, and it makes it soft, so that way you don't have like bumpy skin and stuff after you're finished shaving. It's like really legit. There, all clean. Now I'm going to put my eye color in. I look up, then I look down into the contact. Some people say this method is wrong and they put the contact directly on top of their cornea. I, however, don't want to do that because I know I would scratch my fucking eye out. Next, I'm going to put this on the spot acne treatment by Neutrogena on top of my problem areas, such as the one on my nose and on my cheek and on the side of my nose and by my eyebrow and by my chin. Now I'm going to use this Vanishing Cream by Lush. I absolutely love their products and it makes my skin feel silky smooth. Moving on, now I'm going to use this Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream under my eyeballs. It's going to help repair the little tiny wrinkles I have under my eyes. Moving on, now I'm going to use this NARS Pro Prime Skin Smoothing Face Prep Base La Santé and apply it under my eyelids, on my forehead, in my inner cheeks, on my mustache and beard. Now I'm going to use this Sephora Face Primer. It's going to help keep my face from getting really shiny for a long time. I don't really know how long, but it says so on the bottle. Now moving on, I've mixed these two foundations and made them closer to my actual skin color. And I just dotted all over the discolored areas that I want to fix. Now moving on, we're going to use the SNARS concealer in, I don't know what the color name is, so we're just going to call it Beyonce. Make sure to pat it under your eyelid rather than smear it because your eyelids are very sensitive and if you keep smearing shit under your eyes for the rest of your life, you're gonna have really fucking huge bags and no one's gonna like you. Make sure to blend it out so that way it doesn't look like you slept on top of your leftover Doritos. Now I'm going to powder the highlighted area with CoverFX Translucent Powder. Now I'm going to contour with this dark eyeshadow. Don't hate bitches, I'm just being resourceful. Now taking my MAC powder, I'm just going to blend all of it out. The contour, the highlight, everything into my skin and also powder the areas that I left out, such as my neck and my forehead. Now I'm going to draw on the rest of my eyebrows. I cut them this way so that way I could raise or lower the arch of my eyebrow as much as I please. Now I'm highlighting the brow bone. 
to make that extra sharp effect on my eyebrows. Moving on, we're going to pat this light champagne color on our eyelids. Think Cristal or Hoska Kavaskie. Next, we're going to add a light shimmer to the inner corners of our eyelids. Make sure to blend it out to the inner third of your eyelid. It helps if you know fractions. Now taking this dark brown color with our fluffy brush, we're just going to blend it out into our crease, outwards towards the brow bone. It's going to create a nice smoky effect that should be smoldering and very hot and sexy. Now we're going to take that same brown color and add it through our bottom lids. Now we're going to line our eyes with this three, two face, three way liner. Thing. I just like to lazily stroke back and forth on my eyelid and hope that it comes out in a straight line and sometimes it doesn't and that's okay because nobody really gives a fuck. Now we're going to line our bottom lash line with the same eyeliner we used to arch our eyebrows and smudge it out. Now we're going to use this black mascara that dramatically lengthens your eyelashes to a beautiful spider leg. We are now done with the eyes. Moving on to the lips, we're going to use this OCC color in a pink color. We're going to put that all over our lips and just mwah, mwah. Now using this MAC highlight in a color that I don't know, I'm putting it on my cupid's bow. After that, I'm going to take all the excess lipstick off and now I'm going to highlight with that same shimmer that I used on my cupid's bow and put it on my nose bridge and the high points of my cheeks. Now undoing my hair, I'm going to brush it out, then I'm going to straighten it out and now I'm going to try to curl the ends. It kind of did work but it kind of did and it looked cute-ish so I decided to keep it like this. Now I'm going to finally put on some clothes. I take things out of my drawer and look at it and wonder if I should put it on and then I decide I'm going to put it on. So today I decided on a lace shirt and some short shorts. Now I'm going to change. And of course, without fail, my dumbass puts it on backwards. Ah, now it's on right. Can you see my nipples? No? Good. Now I'm going to put lotion on my ashy elbows and my ashy knees. Here's a little foot fetish footage for all the fans. Oh yeah, you know you like those tasty games. Moving on, I'm going to put this perfume on that has a really strong scent. Don't smell right away, or else you're going to choke. <coughs> now it's time to accessorize. I forgot to film myself putting on deodorant, so I went back and filmed it because I didn't want you guys to know that I actually like bathing in my own stench. Now we sexy, fine, and cute, and we ready to go. You done walk up with me, now get out my face, ho! And this has been Beauty for Your Booty! Shit we both ourselves. shit ourselves. This is my poop. It's cinnamon, really, but it's yeah. poop.